Greetings everyone, this is Dave Noble, meteorologist with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Missoula, Montana. Next several days we're looking at chance for snow in the passes, just some showers today, and then uh, weather system moving in, southwest Montana, chance for snow everywhere, just uh, light snow. And then uh, a more impressive system uh, comes on Sunday evening uh, into Monday, a uh, strong cold front moves through, and then we have high pressure building next week. Here's a look at chance for some you know, a couple inches or less than an inch of snow across the region this afternoon and this evening. Looking at a chance for this uh, weak low developing over southern Idaho and then moving eastward. Chance for light snowfall uh, north and east of its track. So that includes Limhi County to southwest Montana. Looking at a snowfall range, statistically these snow amounts, the lower range and upper range, the snow amounts will fall between these ranges. This is the model predicted snowfall, so you have to take into account that there's going to be some melting. So you almost have to cut these amounts in half to get a more realistic snowfall range, possibly up to two inches across Silver Willow County, Deer Lodge, two to three inches in the upper range. Uh, Georgetown Lake, also a couple inches in north central Idaho. Whitebird Hill uh, could get an inch of snow Friday evening, Friday night. We're looking at some breezy conditions developing as the low kind of develops. We're looking at 10 to 25 mile an hour wind gusts, stronger wind gusts southern Lemhi County and in the upper elevations southwest Montana. This wind combined with the snow uh, could help to ice up some of the higher elevation locations. Here are the low temperatures in that region where we're expecting some light snowfall. We're looking at near freezing towards uh, Camas Prairie. We're looking at teens and 20s, southwest Montana and Lemhi County. This is like the probability of where the trough placement is going to be. And we're looking at the best chance for the cold frontal passage to be uh, Sunday evening. So this timestamp is right at 11 p.m. Sunday evening. It's going to be a pretty strong cold front and uh, there's going to be precipitation developing ahead of it during the day Sunday. So in terms of snowfall for this Sunday, Monday, and lingering snow showers in the mountains into Tuesday, at least expect 10 inches at Lookout Pass. You know, maybe one to two inches south of Libby to Marion, two to three inches Marias Pass, one to two inches Sealy Lake northwards, Swan Lake, four inches in the Rattlesnake Mountains. Looking at the right side, we're looking at the southern half of our forecast area, two inches at Whitebird Hill, three inches Elk City, two to four inches Weipe to Pierce, also two to four inches Highway 12 west of Lolo Pass, five inches Lolo Pass, four inches Lost Trail Pass, five inches Nez Pierce Pass, and two inches Williams Creek Summit, generally one inch or less across southwest Montana. So I'm just going to go through specific areas and I'm just going to be brief, so feel free to pause the video if you want to look at a particular location that interests you. We're going to look at increasing clouds Friday, Saturday through Monday, and then a better chance of sunshine towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as a ridge of high pressure builds in. Here's the temperatures across Clearwater County, looking at just uh, six hour chunks of snowfall totals. And you can see that there's a decent amount of snowfall arriving Saturday evening and Sunday especially Clearwater Mountains. I'm just looking at a lot of stations in Idaho County. This is the temperatures, this is cloud cover, and this is the snow forecast, highlighting the snow coming in on Sunday. Uh, I'm assuming this Pierce Pass is still open, so any hunters out there just uh, wanna make sure you bring some emergency gear, a saw, and a shovel, chains for your tires. This is looking at wind gusts, at the passes, so this system is going to be bringing in some stiff south winds ahead of the front on Sunday, and then the Sunday evening, uh, when the front goes through, we'll get some gusty westerly winds. Cloud cover forecast across western Montana, temperatures, snowfall, and this is generally looking at the passes with a couple of cities thrown in there. One thing to note is that there could be some light snow Saturday evening into Sunday morning in the valleys in northwest Montana. Kind of a, a weak cold pool in place and you've got this overrunning moisture moving in. It's a good setup for some light snow, maybe even a brief period of, of moderate snow. Um, especially like the foothills, eastern Flathead Valley and Olney. Here's a general snow level trend decreasing towards Saturday, increasing Sunday with that warmer system coming in and then the front crashing through Sunday night, gradually rising as we start getting warmer air moving in here aloft uh, with the ridge building. Speaking of that, here's a high confidence for that stable ridge next Wednesday through Friday and looking at fog and low cloud development 
warming up in the mountains, increased air quality concerns. Um, the pattern actually looks very similar to what we saw a week ago. And that's where we saw pretty decent sunshine for the first day. And then in the second day, we had some fog, uh, more fog in the valleys. Flathead Lake still warm this time of year, upper 40 water temperatures. And we saw low stratus developing and spreading out across the Mission Valley and Flathead Valleys. You know, by Thursday, Friday next week, there could be some issues, uh, aviation issues as well, uh, depending on the evolution of the fog and stratus. Here's the long range forecast. We're looking at near normal or near average temperatures to below. And we're also looking at kind of a, a drier forecast with that ridge. But then the 8 to 14 day, we're looking at near normal chances for precip. Our next briefing is going to be Sunday, November 17th. Thank you. Have a great day.